Welcome to another session of Plants of Essentials Part 4. Today we're going to cover important topic Plant Swift Annotations. What are the annotations and how exactly it help user? Hopefully you will learn something new today because it help a lot, especially if you are a frequent user. Have you ever faced difficulty dealing with plants, especially adjusting the size of dimension, label, and you wish that you can adjust the size one time so it work always the same? So it can be done, just you need to define the setting. Where exactly you can define the setting that will work always for the upcoming jobs, project and file. It can be done under the setting tab and annotation. So if you see the annotation here you will find default label, node, dimension, legend etc. So if you define the setting here it will work always. So you can see here right now on the home tab the dimension size are bigger and the label size as well so if i have to just i may need to right click in property but it will consume a lot of time or i may need to adjust from view tab fine we will have a look on all the setting let's start by the label so if you need to adjust some setting click here default label setting plans will allow you to adjust the setting fine if you want to change the font setting so there are multiple font if you choose any you can choose it oh, luckily we have hit the buy you can choose that so you can choose any color if you wish to keep by default it's yellow if you want to change into green or any you can choose here now text size this text size really depend on the scale I know I'm always working on meter so that's why 0.5 size work for me but if you're the guy who deal with millimeter or centimeter or feet inches so you have to define the text size accordingly so if I'm working in meter 0.5 is fine for me okay fine same with transparency you can adjust the transparency color and where you want label to be in the center on the right or left you can adjust the setting okay fine just press ok now it will not affect the label that you have already done it will only affect to those label that are coming right now from today from right now so you can highlight any area okay let's just highlight few shape fine now I want label on it so I'll select all right click and show label when you press this show label you can see here right now let me just change the color you can see right now the label size are according to my setting 0.5 setting is as I want it because it's perfectly according to the condition of scale then the color and transparency exactly are the same okay let's have a look on the second setting default node if you don't know what are the nodes, it's here. You can write something about your project, about some detail. So if I click here node, you notice automatically it appear as project A, no matter what. So if you want to define any setting here, maybe the size or the font or color, you can define one time. How exactly? Click here on a setting, then default node setting, you can define here anything maybe sadi if you know you are the right person who always write a note here or project number five project number six whatever you want here so you can write one time project 70 you can define a text size maybe 0.5 or you can choose the color as you like once you define it press ok just go to home tab it will never affect the existing one it will only affect the upcoming one so you can see here it affected now it appeared as project 70 the size and color is accordingly okay so that's how we can define the setting for the node third one is default dimension it really happened you can see here the dimensions are bigger because it is depending right now on the scale setting so if you're working in millimeter or the meter it may vary so you can click here setting default dimension setting you can choose here what is the size size suitable for you for me always 0.7 as i mentioned earlier i am the guy who work in meter so 0.7 and 8 suitable for me so if you want to change the setting you can change here maybe the color of the dimension 
and the text of the dimension once you change it will affect let me give you the idea I'll change the color into green and the text size should be in a red color and we want the size as 1 press ok now let's have a look dimension and we can see here it's according to our new setting okay the next one is default legend setting if you don't know what is legend go to home tab right click show legend you can see here in the legend we see here the quantity we see the icon we see the quantity unit and color so if you want to change some setting click here default legend setting you can change the name you can choose the text size you can change the transparency you can see here where exactly it always should appear bottom or top by default it always appear here if you see here always it appear here at the bottom no matter what of course you can adjust it but by default it always appear here so if you want to change the setting you can play here default label setting okay if you don't want to see the units in the legend you can click here if you don't want to see the value just uncheck so when you press uncheck go to home tab you can see here now there's no quantity it will just show you flooring type 2 is by the green color and area is by the red color the next one is default highlighter setting if you don't know what exactly it is there is one option highlighter by highlighter option you can highlight some area some page zone or some part if you want to highlight you can do that of course you can change the color there is one option here edit highlighter but if you want to define some setting this option will allow you default highlighter what are the option transparency and line width only okay so that was about highlighter the next is arrow setting box setting and pen setting what are these these are only available in the latest version plansif 10.3 before it was not there now if you click here markup you'll find here three option arrow box and pen so it's just a markup tool you can add some arrows you can see here you can add some box so if you want to define some setting for this markup it's possible in a setting in a default arrow setting click here what are the transparency what is the line width that you want again this is based on the scale so once you play here press ok so this is about markup to last three okay there are few more options let me give you the idea if you are the guy who deal with label always so this option will help you a lot auto label area how exactly it help just check this option go to home tab now if I highlight any area let me give you the example I highlight this automatically the label will appear on it one more we don't need to add label manually because we have already enabled the setting so if you always deal with area this is the suitable option for you auto label area now the next one is show legend by default let me give you the example okay I am on this floor and you see here there is no legend of course by right click show legend I can add the legend but if you know you always deal with legend so it's better just in a setting you can turn on this option show legend by default so you don't need to turn on it will automatically appear always at the bottom of the page okay okay next two are show values in the legend and show units in the legend okay if you notice in the legend always it show you two things the value and unit so if you don't want to see it you can simply uncheck these two options these are the same setting that is available in a default legend setting as well show the value and show the unit so it's almost the same so this was all about setting annotation and few setting these default setting will help you to fix one setting for all the upcoming takeoff project so you don't have to adjust again and again it really helps especially if you are a frequent user of planship so i hope you learn something new today so if you really like the video don't forget to subscribe if you have any question or confusion feel free to contact me on linkedin so that's it for today thank you so much for watching have a good day everyone